Welcome to Flight Test, I'm Peter. And I'm Josh, and today we're gonna to be checking out the FT Explorer. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got our good friend here, Mitchell. You don't see Mitchell too often. He works in manufacturing. And also my brother, who you also don't see too often, who also works manufacturing. And both of these guys are gonna be a huge influence in our next coming uh, FT Connections. But Mitchell, you've been flying for what, about a year now? Uh, yeah, about a year and a couple months. Nice. Um, I started uh, Flight Fest uh, last year, actually. One thing we really want is we want people to uh, be able to enter this hobby on any term they want. And what we focus on with the FT Explorer is to make this where you can learn to build it, learn to fly it, and then also the third element we wanted to do is learn to design. Uh, a lot of feedback we got and a lot of complaints about previous designs, because let's face it, this is not an original format, is they wanted to see bigger props. They wanted to be able to go up to a larger prop for FPV. And Jim, that's what you have, isn't it? I sure do. I'm Jim Boxler and I'm flying the, <laughs> the Box 3 <laughs> with my Geek Box. Yeah, I just and see boy, a, it's I, a lot of fun. This is what happens when we let Peter Shreeple paint a plane, right? Yeah. Hey, you asked for it. I did, I did, I'm guilty. You know what? Honestly, we owe a big thanks to Hobby King for developing the Bixler series. Not because it's named after us, but because it got so many people into the hobby. Mitchell's flying the B motor and he's swinging an eight inch prop. And that's a typical prop for our B size packs. Now I'm flying the C pack and that swings a nine to 10 inch prop. And under this configuration, it can go as big as a nine inch. You almost have vertical with the thing. And uh, Jim is actually flying FPV carrying a GoPro, a bigger battery, and it's cruising along pretty well, isn't it? Oh, I almost took the Inspire. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awkward, huh? Yeah, that would be bad. So with FPV in the past, uh, flying wings or t chopping off the nose of a Twin Star or an Easy Star or even a Bixler was the only option you had for FPV. So one thing we wanted to do when we designed this is make sure that everything could fit a GoPro or FPV gear really nicely. So you wouldn't have to go ahead and kit bash it too much. Uh, we have a swappable nose just like Peter's guinea pig. So you can take that off, you can put a whole FPV nose on it, or you can just simply slide off the nose, and because the air passes right through, leave it off and strap any gear you need on. Now this design isn't too original here. The Easy Star, the Bixler, the uh, Sky Surfer, uh, a lot of different formats uh, have come out of this one design. The main difference with this one is we're including two different wings, so you can learn three channel flight, and then you can go right into four channel. This is a three channel version. It has polyhedral in it, and this is actually the simple soar wing, just slightly modified to make it a little bit stronger, a little bit quicker to build as well, too. So this actually has three brakes in the wing that gives you polyhedral. That means the plane only flies off a rudder elevator and then uses throttle. So this is technically a three-channel airplane, fantastic for training on. This is very similar to a high-tech Easy Star. Uh, what we also included here was nothing but an enlarged version of the tiny trainer wing, and that's right here. This is what we call our sport wing. This gives us a little bit more speed and really great aileron control. You can also do advanced mixing, like mixing your flaps. And uh, it, gives a, it gives it a nice speed platform, but it still slows down wonderfully. How are you, How you doing, Mitchell? Great. I'm, I'm doing great. Ground. I'm doing really good. It's almost if anybody's ever flown the Apprentice before, it's very similar to the Apprentice. The control yeah. surfaces are okay. really easy. Uh, the biggest thing like I found in being a newbie is a lot of down. people want to crank their sticks. You want to very very small movements on your sticks um that was my biggest challenge is i just wanted to crank the sticks a lot
Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? No, dude, I almost. We did. literally split Eric right down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, we better land. All right, one important thing if you're just getting a hobby, whenever you land, always want to put it into the wind and get it as slow as possible. Keep your airspeed till just above the ground and then bleed it off. Nice. Your turn, Mitch. Nice, man. So we're talking a lot about designing. Now one thing we want you to be able to do is go from something like this once you've learned to fly, take on designing, and go to something like what Peter just created. What did you do, man? Actually, uh, on onto the topic of, you know, using the same fuselage as like a base platform and building your own thing, I made a sort of like a Bronco style thing with twin booms and, you know, the two tails and all that. And also, this is actually like swappable within its own concept too. Like the tail, if you notice, this is like a H-tail style thing. Mm -hmm. I also have an A-tail add-on that you can also fit onto this thing. Yeah, so you took two fuselages and you used a lot of the common techniques from what is it, the tiny trainer? Yep. So you got almost two tiny trainer fuselages. Yep, and these are still swappable too, so your our normal power pods will fit right in there. Cool. One of the things that we hope that you guys do is try different things. Now Peter, you, you're an amazing designer uh, and you really went after this, but you went ahead and looked forward and uh, it took this to another level. Mm -hmm. What is that? The VTOL. The VTOL. So this thing features the KK2 board, which is uh, not just a normal KK2 board. It's flashed with the custom software from Happy Sundays. It's Open Arrow VTOL, which is on this board. It basically makes VTOLs like this, which are basically crosses between airplanes and quadcopters, all put together into one sing single vehicle. So a lot of people are going to be asking you, Peter, what mm -hmm. motors did you use and stuff? Actually, this is our quad pack in the store. This is the Emacs, uh, what is it, the D-Pack? Yep. If you sell the quads. And also a tough tilt. So it's all the stuff we have in the store. I was like, well, I can make a VTOL of this stuff. So and it's pretty easy. Does the tough tilt run the whole time? Uh, no, the tough tilt actually shuts off. Basically, well, actually the tough tilt still moves, but the tail motor actually cuts off in flight. Okay. Basically, once these guys start transitioning over to forward flight, this guy shuts off after X amount of seconds. I gotta see this. All right, man, you're a king of the VTOLs. I can't believe you pulled this off in a short amount of time. I not anymore. <laughs> you know what? Someone's probably knocking on my pedestal by now. This is just crazy. You did this in a week. Let's mm -hmm. see it fly. All right. Takes right off. That's insane! <laughs> So you're using the big multi-rotor platform D for this, right? Yep, using like the 400 size copter kit that we sell. Now that transition was smooth, but you have you have two motors tilting, one motor turning off at mm -hmm. the same time. Yep. Yeah, this is like pushing, this is the concept of, you know, the Explorer and all that, of like making your own, trying out experiments and just doing that. something weird. Because that this is this is a, pretty much the, uh, the thing of weird. <laughs> I don't know, really, yeah, it's, it's just weird. It's, the whole thing is really weird. It's really not natural, is it? No, to see a, a quad or a track copter and a plane mashed together. It cruises. Mm -hmm. Now tell me about the inverted V tail because that's kind of cool because a lot of people think it should go the other way But this is actually more proper, isn't it? Yeah, this is like an A tail So when it yeah. makes it like torrent like turns and stuff when I added the right commands It actually kind of rolls the plane just a little bit gently too. So generally when you have a V tail this way It causes counter torque mm -hmm. uh, to the airframe. And that's one reason why uh, a lot of planes have torsion issues that are V tails Yep, um, but this actually will torque it in the way that you want it to go which will feed into the turn, which puts less stress on it. Mm -hmm. And it looks really cool too. Yeah, this is really fun. Yeah, let's see a transition. All right, transitioning back. Let me fly into the wind. So that's one thing you want to do when you transition, you yeah. fly into the wind? Point to the wind and then flip the switch. Hang on. And don't hit Brian. Yep. And there the motor goes on tail. Yep. And now we're back into hover. Get that. Now turbo spin, turbo spin. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> it looks so wrong. My airplane is malfunctioning. Oh dear. Incredible. You know what? It's doing better. It's somewhat windy today. It's doing pretty good. Yep. Let me go ahead and go back into forward flight. There it goes. So really the first time you do a transition, do it up high because it's going to be yep. weird, right? Exactly, yeah. Because the, the funny thing with the first time when I did the transition at the shop, the rear motor shop just a little bit too prematurely and the whole plane did a barrel roll. Or not a barrel roll, but it did a loop like five feet above the crown and somehow I was able to save it. That thing hauls. <laughs> it's so quiet. You're carrying cool. a ton of weight too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the nice thing about this kit too is you can also do the FPV stuff. The FPV nose fits right on it and everything still works. Well, I got an idea. You mm -hmm. built the Bronco, which is the non VTOL version of this. Mm -hmm. What do you say we try the infamous glider toe that we seem to always wreck when we try? All right, I said let's give it a go. All right. Nice, man. Mm -hmm. So what we did to hopefully make it easier for designing to learn how to design is we made one common element, and that's called the uh, the Explorer Core. And that's going to be this main section here. Now, everything from the Explorer Core is fastened. So that means your nose is interchangeable. 
you can swap out your wings but on top of that you can also swap out your tail boom and your motor mount now this is also commonly sized to our power pods as well so what we can do now is we can use all of the previous designs all the previous wings from guinea pigs to uh, simple soars to uh, storches and you can swap out almost any wing that we have and also create your own using the common techniques so the idea of using the main core here so you can actually interchange stretch change proportions change dimensions and change cg uh, to do this we made this adjustable so this can actually extend or contract in or be completely removed and swapped out for something different along with that the power pod comes out too and you can switch out power pods you can have more than one you can have a bigger motor smaller motor or since this is the same proportion you can even actually study the effects of moving things around like this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the wing back on and we're going to fly this as a glider all right here we go hey look at that ah, nice <laughs> Dude, that's so uneventful, it's well, awesome! Was de depressingly working. That is so cool, are you kidding me? <laughs> Takes me up crazy high. Okay. I've never had a successful tow other than when we uh, had to like pull an episode out of our tushies because we had a really bad crash <laughs> and it worked perfectly. This is tracking like an arrow! This is amazing, yeah, this works good. Oh, uh -oh. I'm overtaking uh -oh. I'm getting you. I'm ahead of you. Hang on. I'm flooring it. I'm flooring it. Come this way. Come this way. <laughs> Alright, there you go. All right, yeah, keep yep. keep climbing. I'm hooked around something of yours. All right, I'm just saying how, how easy this went, and now I'm, I'm just killing you. Tell me if, okay. if it gets too bad, I'll punch out. Okay. This is really cool, man. Yeah, this is flying on the uh, the V-Pack, too, so I'm a little I'm a little slow for glider towing. But this is still working really, really well. <laughs> it's doing good. <laughs> this is pretty All funny. I got to do is kind of just keep up pressure just to stay slow. Yep. All right. All right, you ready to release? Ready. Three, yep. two, one, and there I go. Hey, look at me. Here look. I come. This is cool. Yeah, awesome. Max power. All right, your Bronco rocks, man. Yep. The funny thing, you know, the Bronco name, it's not actually based off the OV-10 Bronco a little too much. It's actually because you named your thing the Explorer. The Explorer? Yeah, Ford Explorer. <laughs> and this is the Ford Bronco. And the whole, you know, the whole reason I named it the Explorer was because I, you know, I went to the deeper fuzzy feelings and yep. I wanted people to explore building, explore flying, and explore designing. <laughs> and, uh, and I got a big thank you to Jake Marshall. Uh, this is actually designed for our new release of FT Connections. Mm -hmm. And what FT Connections is, is where we're going to be bringing the STEM program to schools. And also we're going to be developing groups of people looking to connect to each other, also learn how to fly, uh, have fun project, do crazy things like we get to do out the uh, on the show um, so our goal is to to build things around that that will supplement that environment mm -hmm. and this explore is meant for the high school upper middle school to high school ages and also to teach kids how to fly that's awesome I can't wait to see what the kids do with this too because this is such a fun platform <laughs> it's easy to do things like this with it's a blast and it's really hard to mess it up a uh, really center of gravity and moment are the two main things mm -hmm. this thing's gliding really good <laughs> yeah you've been up there for quite a while I keep forgetting you don't have an engine no no engine <laughs> Well, that was a nice one. I cannot believe that that was that <laughs> effortless. All right, here we go. Let's <laughs> 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 go, whip. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. All right, who should I whip next with this tail? I don't know, but I'm scared. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go whip Austin. Don't whip, whip Austin, he's whip a nice Austin. guy. Ah, she's <laughs> <laughs> On the note why Peter's chasing people around, guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you're watching this, the Explorer is now in the store. Mm -hmm. Also, as always, free downloadable yep. plans, free build videos. Big shout out to Dan Sponholz, mm -hmm. who's now drawing our plans for yep. us, doing an amazing job with that. So thank you, Dan, for that. And uh, guys, keep the feedback coming. This was a long design and process, and your feedback on what motor sizes, what prop sizes, what features you wanted, what things you wanted to do with it, is all while it was developed. Mm -hmm. So please, uh, keep the feedback coming. Thank you for your support. We'll see you next time.